there's a nice soft target there, beautiful. Can you hear the ghostiness to the sound? It's nice and soft, it's quite a grey sound. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the audio response up and let you hear the difference the audio response makes. We're on three at the moment. Now we're on seven. So if we were walking around with audio response at seven, okay, we're not going to miss any targets, but we're not going to hear depth. And hearing depth is sometimes what you need to do. Seven. Three. Zero. So you're not losing any depth, you're just losing the audio intensity. And it's a good form of information. Audio response, pay attention to it because it can work in your favour. Let's dig it out and see what we got. Still there. It's out. Hear how much brighter the signal is now? It's a shotgun cartridge. When would I use audio response? If I went to cherry pick the deep targets, if I was on a place where there's lots of surface rubbish, you can use the audio response to your advantage by simply cherry picking the faint signals and ignoring the bright signals. If you had higher levels of audio response, you'd have no idea what were the deep ones or not. Here's an interesting target. Thanks to the audio response, I can tell that that's a deep target. It's really faint. Now listen, listen to what happens when I turn the audio response up. Just make a note of this signal. It's like a murmury, ghosty sound. Let's turn the audio response up to seven. Now that's the same intensity as a shallow target. By using higher numbers of audio response, you've got no perception of depth at all. You don't know whether that's deep or shallow. Let me go back to three. Now I know that's a deep target. Let's dig it out and see what we got. Still in the hole. There's a difference. Just have a look, see how deep that hole is. Fantastic depth. But we knew it was deep because we could hear it through the signal. Nothing special, just a round piece of lead or something. It's not lead, it's probably a piece of um, tin or something. But look at the depth, I was really impressed with that. 
and it told us it was deep. We had that faint murmuring sound. The Deus has two power options, sensitivity and TX gain. The TX gain adjusts the electromagnetic field being produced by the search coil. The sensitivity adjusts the receive signal from the search coil. Lower TX gains will work better on bad ground and you'll get a much improved target analysis. Higher TX gains will work better if you're using a lower frequency. The depth difference between TX gain 1 and 3 is probably only a few centimetres. The real depth is when you adjust the sensitivity. It runs from 0 to 99. Lower levels make the machine smoother. Higher levels make the ship machine more sensitive to smaller targets. A factory preset of 90 is recommended. Only in extreme conditions will you need to adjust the sensitivity higher or lower. But just try and find a good balance where your machine runs smoothly and you get good target analysis. I've got a little signal here. I'm using the preset 90 sensitivity. Make a note of that signal. I'm just going to turn it up to 95. And it's boosted the signal quite a bit. So bear that in mind if you're looking for deep targets. If your ground will allow it, push the sensitivity a little bit higher. If you find you're scrolling through the menus and you can't find the TX gain, which is under the expert settings in the sensitivity, go back into the frequency adjustment and you'll see your frequency is slightly offset. The preset's the middle setting and then you've got a setting to the left and a setting to the right to eliminate EMI. Now put your frequency back into the preset, which is the middle one. Go back into the menu and you'll see your TX adjustment has appeared again.